This is a walkthrough of the Earl Boyd's WebSocket Handler. In the source directory of my project, I've got Animate WebSocket Handler. This is a WebSocket Handler written in Erlang. It's a behavior for the Cowboy Web Server project. You can see my overview video for more on how the project is set up. In this video, I'm just going to cover how the WebSocket handler is done. Our standard module, it's a Cowboy HTTP handler behavior. We have a state to hold the uh, PID of the animation controller, animator. Some parse functions to parse in data that we're getting from the WebSocket. In our init function, Cowboy requires us to do this, to return this upgrade tuple to tell if we want to go to the WebSocket. I don't even know where I got this code, but that code gives us, uh, does something if it's got a source or sec WebSocket protocol or something. I don't know. <clears throat> it works. Then we use the supervisor to start a child. And this is kind of silly because uh, start child actually returns you, if it starts the child, the PID of the child. And I don't capture that here. And then we have WebSocket handle will handle information from the WebSocket. WebSocket info will handle any messages sent to this process. And when uh, the, the supervisor has a simple one-for-one -one child spec that starts the animator, and when the animator starts, it sends back a message what its PID is, and that message uh, looks like animator PID, and so we just put that animator PID in the state, and I can remove this. We don't need to do that. We can just get it from immediately when we start the child. And any other messages are printed out to actually any, any other messages that we receive from other processes are, are simply sent to the WebSocket with this reply text and then whatever the... Uh, message was, and I think it can be an I.O. list. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we have our WebSocket handle function. If it gets text that is uh, start, stop, and has the, it is simply the binary start or stop, then that is converted to a list and then an atom, and then that is a function, so we can call animate colon and then start or stop, and then the PID of our animator, and we can start it or stop it, and it has functions to uh, an API to handle that. Then if we get text, any other text from the WebSocket, we first parse it. And the only thing we can parse out is that it's a binary with height colon and a height, or width colon and a width, and then we generate a module function and arguments that we can call. So that we'll call the animate module the height function and pass it the new height. It's an argument. If we didn't manage to parse anything, we just return OK. Otherwise, we do Erlang apply to call that function in that module with those arguments. And that's it. That's the entire um, Cowboy web server WebSocket handler. It, um, when you initialize the WebSocket, it starts up an animation controller, and then it passes some data from the WebSocket to the controller, and then it passes anything it gets back um, to the WebSocket.